Hey, Seth Kaplan of Airline Weekly. He's got some advice to help ensure a smooth travel week. Welcome, Seth. Welcome. Great to be here, Chris and Marquette. <laughs> Good. Now, listen to me. If something happens, a cancellation, you know what I do? I sit, I wait patiently for, for someone to tell me what to do. Is that the way to do it? And I'm surprised you're not still at the airport from last time you traveled. I am the exact opposite, Seth. I go crazy. And they say, this is the first class elite star plus line. I just walk right up there with an <laughs> economy class ticket and I say, you going to help me. Yeah, probably somewhere in between the two extremes. I mean, you want to be kind because let's face it, um, those those agents are people too. Sure. And, and right. you know, you're not only is it the right thing to do, but you'll probably get what you want if you do it nicely but certainly proactively and, and yeah instead of just waiting look if your flight is canceled let's say think of ways to help the airline help you hey chris i mean i'm flying to fort lauderdale tomorrow if my flight is canceled i'm going to go up to the airport ticket counter and say uh is there a flight to miami a flight to west palm that has an empty seat because if that gets me near where i'm going sooner than waiting another day let's say that's what I want to do is get as close and interesting. As, yeah, yeah. So, so if you can, if you can do, it, they're not going to assume it. They're going to look for that next seat on on the same route that you're flying. But if you don't mind being flexible, let them know that they won't assume it. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's good information. One time, my husband and I, we were stuck in Mexico. It wasn't a bad place to be stuck, and um, we we flew to Philly rented a car and drove home just to get home because my husband needed to get to work the next day. And so, yeah, we were a little creative and they let us fly to, to, to Philly just to get the heck out of there. Yeah, and they're happy yeah. to get rid of you too. Right. So it works out for everybody. Yeah, can yeah. you imagine me staring <laughs> into the airport? All right, next you say pack light and avoid checking bags. Why? Yeah, well, you know, when things do go wrong and, and, and look, uh, I mean, the good news is right now the weather, weather forecast pretty decent for the next few days and so forth. But uh, yeah, if your flight is canceled and you run up to the gate agent and say, hey, what about that flight to Miami or what about that other flight to wherever? A lot of times the first thing they're going to ask you is, did you check any bags? And if the answer is no, a lot of times you could just hop on that other flight. Whereas if they have to offload your bag and so forth, that can make the difference when things are dicey. So, uh, uh, you know, no fun lugging bags either through the airport. But uh, just the lighter you can travel, really, the better off you'll be if things do go wrong. Sometimes they'll say, hey, get in a line. Do we just go get in line or what do, we, what do we do then? Well, get in line, but also call while you're in line. Get on the app. Whatever you can do to get through to the airline, again, when things are going wrong, really gives you the best shot. Let, let's face it, Chris. You know, it's a competition between you and your fellow travelers for those few empty seats on the next flight when your flight is canceled or delayed. So uh, so whatever you can do to sort of give yourself a leg up, uh, again, sort of a combination of that and the creativity, they're going to look automatically for just that next seat on the same flight but but between uh doing what you can to get through to them and thinking creatively you you can give yourself a leg up and i've been in that situation too where i've gotten at least near where i was right. going a lot more quickly than i otherwise would have yeah so if you're like within two hours vicinity you're you're still home technically right yeah, close enough <laughs> now you also say look at the flight boards what we sh what should we be looking for if we're stranded say in chicago sleeping on the floor with no sleeping bag overnight. <laughs> Sometimes your best shot at getting home is a flight that was scheduled later than your original flight. Let's say you're on the one o'clock flight and it's delayed until two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. Sometimes by then, hey, guess what? There's a three o'clock flight that might be going on time. That's another one of those things that the airline isn't necessarily going to look for you automatically. So if you see that, say to them, hey, why not that flight? And, and maybe they'll let you hop on. Is it really fair that the Great Day Washington viewers are going to get better, get around better over the holidays than the other people? Is it really fair because uh, of you? Uh, it's completely unfair. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but it's all right. Fair, right? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, you're right. It's so great. Now, I would like to say you have a 21-month-old. Yes, 21 D months now. 21 months. I have a three-year-old, and Dulles has a kid's play area. It saved my life. So if you are delayed, find that little playground in the Dulles International section. Yeah, because and because yeah. you know how that changes your life. I mean, it used yeah. to be I could be delayed an hour or two. Whatever. You know, now it, it, it's it's all about yeah. Yes. Just you don't want not a, letting things a toddler get out of throwing goldfish in your face. Talking about <laughs> when's the next flight to Miami? <laughs> <laughs> let, let 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 the toddler talk to the agents, right? That all they'll let you right through, right? Exactly. Thanks, Seth Kaplan. All right, thank you very much for coming in and giving us all the information, getting us around the holidays well, well better than than before. Thanks for coming in. Thank yes, you. Yes, and Good. happy Thanksgiving.